Hello, and welcome to Tech It Tutorial with Kane the Slayer. Those of you who've seen my previous videos might recognize that this is my server. Well, they probably won't recognize this specific area. I'm about two and a half kilometers away from the spawn in the castle we've got over here. I figured I'd start somewhat fresh here with just stone tools and a basic treehouse with only a bed and a couple of chests in it, because it would make this tutorial somewhat more interesting than just uh, go here, do this, build this crafting recipe. So, as I mentioned, today we are doing a tutorial on tutorial in TechIt. And Technic Pack and, well, basically any combination of mods that has build craft, industrial craft, and equivalent exchange. Because those are the three mods I'll be focusing on. And Iron Chest later on, but those aren't really a super priority. Anyway, so, first thing you want to do in TechIt is most stuff you would do in normal Minecraft. You know, build yourself a house somewhere you won't get mutilated and eaten and teabagged by monsters constantly. Once you've got that done, you need to gather a lot of resources. When I say a lot, I mean more than you'll ever be able to count. That's a lie, but, or not even that many, but you definitely need to gather a lot. Main things you're looking for are rubber trees. I am conveniently in a jungle right next to a swamp, so I found these rubber trees very easily. However, in your own playthrough with the Technic Pack or Tech It, you might have a bit more trouble finding these guys. And I just realized I never built myself a crafting bench. Now, most of my stuff that you've seen me with, that you've seen me play with is back at the castle. I wanted to, like I said, start fresh. So, anyway, building a tree tap. Might need to build more than one, but for now we'll just go for one. With these river trees, what you're after is sticky resin. It looks like this, I'm, well, it looks like this with this texture pack. But the way to tell if it's a rubber tree is you'll look at the tree and there'll be like a two block high thing of leaves at the very top that just goes above everything else. That's the main way to spot it. And you'll notice there'll be yellow blobs on the sides of it. It's these yellow blobs that you want. Use a tree tap on it and you'll get sticky resin. Thanks. Sticky resin is what we are at. One of the big things you'll need. Now, what most people like to do, and I'm with them before you can generate all the resources in the world with people with exchange, what most will do is they'll start a uh, farm for rubber trees so that they can grow rubber trees and, and grow more resin and cut down the rubber trees and gather the uh, rubber from them. Reason being, you need a lot of this stuff. Like, thousands of it. I'm not even joking there when I say that. Anyway. Yeah, so gather this up. Gather up all that you can from these guys. And then we don't have any extractors yet, so we won't really bother chopping the, chopping the trees down because we can't benefit from chopping them down yet. But once you've got an extractor, it might be worth to chop them down and plant more. That will cause them to generate resin faster than if you were just leaving a tree be, but... Until you can do that, it's best to just leave the tree be and... These will slowly respawn resin over time. That's all on that tree and that tree. Alright, well you know you know about sticky resin now. So next we need crap loads of iron, crap loads of tin, a bunch of redstone, and I say, and copper. 
Bleh. And I should get these guys too because I don't have any of my food sources over at the castle. Or if they're all at the castle and not here. So die pigs, die. So let's see. Now I need to find a cave. I mean, I suppose I don't need to, but that would make this a lot easier to find a convenient cave. And this is an awesome volcano. I would love to build something inside of this thing. Sorry about that. Had to had an I am needed to check it really quick. So now back to finding caves and resources. And food, of course. Always food. Aw, aw, that looked cool for a second. And it's starting to get dark, of course. That is lava. My jungle treehouse looks kinda cool from a distance. Alright, well, I'm going to pause the recording until I find a good source of this stuff. So, until then... And I'm back. Finally managed to find a hole in the ground. So I can finally start gathering some resources. There's some iron. Like I said, you're going to need a lot of this. And that's not all you're going to need. Yeah, why am I lagging right now? Ah, hit you perhaps in the beta of my... Okay, that's not cool. Okay, apparently Fraps decided to get really baggy there. And it still is a bit laggy. And I need to get down there and get some of that iron. Or some of that uh, copper. Depending on the texture pack, these are a little bit different looking, but copper becomes the most common ore in the game next to coal once you in Tech it pack and technic, so it's very easy to find at every height. Iron, you should already know how to find iron. Coal, you should already know how to find coal. And you also know how to find lag. I know how to find lag too. I found a lot of it, as you can see. So, as you can see, you've cut some copper and more copper. Eventually you'll also need to upgrade to iron to a single iron pickaxe. But you'll never want to go beyond the single iron pickaxe. Because eventually you will find some you will find various gems. There are rubies, there are sapphires, there are emeralds. They're pretty common considering how good they are. And well they're as tough as they they're as fast as diamonds. They can't mine through obsidian, and they don't last as long as diamond, but with that exception, they are as good as diamond. If I see any here, I'll let you know, but for now, I'm pausing the recording, and I'll let you know once I've gotten more of the needed resources. And here we have some tin. This is another one of the things I need a lot of. I don't have a whole lot of it right now. I still need to find a lot more, but... In most, tech, in most texture packs, it'll look, you know, like grayish or silverish color. Carefully, you don't actually mix it up with silver, which is actually part of the Technic pack and Tech It. And back to the hunt, I still need uh, lots of redstone. And here we have some of the gems I was mentioning, rubies. The reason I said you wanted a single iron tool, or a single iron pickaxe, is because you need iron to mine these. But once you've got one, three of these, you need... Once you've got three of these, 
Thank you, Onion. You're allowed to talk in the server, you know, or in the mumble server. Just no, he's like... not. We banned him from it. Ah, okay. Just letting you know that I was recording. Oh, that was not smart of me. <laughs> I, yeah, I can mute him. What was I saying before I fell down that hole and you guys started doing stuff? You were talking about ore. <laughs> yes. And then I, you know, made a fun little comment. You yeah, know, for yeah. anybody who was actually paying attention to your video besides just listening to it. Yeah. Well, they're gonna have some fun stuff to watch. And uh, deep. Yeah, I'm at a, I'm at high twenty right now, so I'm deep. Anyway, oh yes, about uh, rubies. Uh, you want to build the single iron pickaxe because you need iron to mine gems with. But once you've got three gems, you can start using a you can start using a gem pickaxe and just start mining and looking for it. Hi, Creeper. Give him a hug. Yeah, I'm gonna hide right here for a little bit while I heal. <laughs> okay, so hopefully the game is done interrupting me now that I'm hiding in this little hole. So once you've got the gem pickaxe, you can just start mining and using gem tools. They'll be everything you need until you start working with red matter or dark matter tools or or the various special tools that are included with the various mods that are in Technic. Because gem tools are a lot more common than diamond. Have the well not the same durability, but still pretty damn good and they mine just as fast as diamonds anyway now I will pause the recording again until I well, I've got everything I need except redstone once I find more of that I'll start the recording again till then see ya and here I just found some uranium uranium is not that useful right now, but when you find it, you should collect it, because when you start playing with nuclear power, you need a lot of it. Additionally, would uh, Nubis or Wild Onion like to comment on what uranium is nice for? Uranium? Well, I found... It's pretty nice for throwing right into the energy collector and just getting extra diamond out of it if you don't ever use... Um, nuclear generators like Wild Onion. Yeah, the condenser really just, it feeds off that uranium like crazy, and it can really help to jumpstart production on that sort of thing, since you need so much diamond early on. Yep. Um, because I do prefer the magical aspect, though it is proving to be ra uh, really powerful, maybe in a bad way. Yeah. I, anyway, so, for, so the math on this is the uh, uranium has exactly six times the value in a uh, equivalent exchange as a diamond does. So put one of those into a transmutation table, well not a transmutation table, but an uh, energy condenser and you'll get six diamond out of it. And uranium is a lot more common than diamond. So it gets a bit ridiculous. Anyway, back to pausing the recording and I'll the only thing that's really left on my to find list is a uh, regstone and maybe diamond. And we're back, and we have found some regstone finally. This probably won't be anywhere near enough, but it's at least a start. As you can see from my inventory, ooh, diamonds! Yoink, yoink. Oh, I need a lot more than that. As you can see from my inventory, I've done a lot. I had to run back to my little treehouse and do a lot of building. I've got some uh, gem tools. Ah, God damn, lava. Go away, lava, go away. No. Alright, I will leave that nickelite alone for now. This stuff right here is called nickelite, also known as Fool's Diamond. Because it looks like it's kind of the color of diamond, but if you look 
closely, you'll see it's more of a powdery substance. It's, well, it's not particularly useful, but it does have a nice EMC value, so... So once you've gotten yourself a, uh, energy condenser, you can use it to get yourself more diamonds. Anyway, I need a lot more iron before we're ready to begin, so... I'll pause the recording and I'll start it back up once we've got back to my treehouse with everything I need. And we're back! As you can see from my inventory, I found more or less everything I need. Well, I'll need a lot more of most of the stuff, but I've got quite a bit of what I need. I'm not going to smelt the silver and gold that I found because I'm going to macerate and double my production values of that. Likewise with this, well, Likewise with this extra copper and tin I found. And <clears throat> you'll see exactly why I'm saving this stuff right now. However, the uh, sticky resin we found earlier, that we will need to smelt because we need rubber. And let's see, I'll need a lot more iron. Alright, well, pausing the recording and... Be back when I have more iron. And we're back. I finally have the iron I need. So, first thing we need is called a generator. Now, now before we make, even make the generator, what we need is copper wires. This is a recipe that you will use repeatedly, hundreds of times throughout Tech It, so learn this recipe. It is three copper across, or three copper down, then surround it on the sides with rubber. You get rubber by smelting sticky resin. And again, you will need a lot of it. So, once we've got some copper cables, next what we need are RE batteries. To make an RE battery, it's two reg stone, two tin, or four tin, and a copper cable in this order. And you will need three of those. So let's put all of this in here. and three RA batteries. Additionally, you will need iron furnaces. Normally you can make an iron furnace. I'll show you the recipe. Normally you can make, <coughs> normally you can make an iron furnace by basically just a furnace made out of iron instead of made out of stone. However, if you have a regular furnace, which you most likely will at this point in the game, You can take it and use regular and use iron. And this with five pieces of iron. You need a crap load of iron, so anything you can do that will save iron is a good thing. Now let's take a few more of these furnaces and make them into iron furnaces, because we'll need a bunch. Well, we won't need a bunch, but it doesn't hurt to have a bunch. four iron furnaces. Now, with these iron furnaces, we will make something called a generator. To make a generator, you need, it could be either a regular furnace and a machine block and an RE battery, or an iron furnace, three refined iron and an RE battery. And technically the machine block one with a machine block requires less actual iron, it's just refined iron, so it also needs a little coal. Either crafting recipe works, obviously. To make refined iron, you just take iron ingots, and just smelt them the same way you do with the regular iron. 
And once this fills up, it will give us a piece of refined iron. You'll want, you'll need to smelt down about half of the iron you'll get into refined iron, because you just need a crap load of it. For now, we'll start out with just two generators. We'll need more pretty quickly, but that will last us for now. Now, what generators do is they create power out of, well, they create electrical power out of just coal. Kind of like a furnace will smelt things out of coal. So we'll put these guys here, and I'll give you a, an example. Put a piece of coal in it, and, oh, that's actually iron furnace. Herp, herp. That's not my generator. Ah, crap, that's gone. Right, no, it's fine. With the generators, not with the iron furnaces, you'll put the RE battery on top and put coal in it. And it will slowly charge it up. What you can also do with the generators is if you just put coal in it, it'll start smelting it and it will just fill the generator up. So that generator can be used later on. So we've got some generators building power, and that's pretty much how you, that's pretty much getting started in Tech, in tech Ed and Technic Pack. In my next episode, I will show you how to build some basic machines, specifically the macerator and the extractor. Until then, bye.